Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome to The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. I'm super excited. This game's been out for a while, um, but it's a game that I, it's a game that is a remake of a game that I played extensively when I was a kid. I am going into this blind in the sense that I've never played this before. Um, we'll just play on normal mode and we'll be Link. Um, I've never played the Switch version of this before. I have, as I said earlier, extensively played the original Game Boy version of it. But I'm excited. <laughs> this should be a lot of fun. What a relief! I thought you'd never wake up. You were tossing and turning. What? Zelda? No, my name's Marin. <laughs> you must still be feeling a little woozy. You're on Colahint Island. You... All right, let's talk with this dude, Taryn. Well, Link, you finally snapped out of it. Name's Taryn. Hope you're feeling better. If I've been asleep this whole time, how do you know my name's Link? Oh, he was he's literally going to answer that. How do I know your name? You think it's weird? Well, I saw it on the back of this shield. Oh, okay. Well, that's fair. I got your shield. So, we can now use our shield. Uh Too heavy. Okay. Can't pick up pots. <laughs> Follow the lane south to reach the beach. Since you wash ashore, lots of nasty monsters have been in the area, so be careful. Okay, fair enough. So now we exit the house and we see what we're working with. There's a little bit of a frame rate stutter there for a minute, but that's fine. Um, Looks like it's cleared up now. Let's just talk with people. Hey, man, when you want to save, hit up the system screen. Okay. Uh, this is a shop. Oh, no, can't open it. Can't lift that either. I think we'll just make our way straight to the beach, because uh, that's where you get the sword, if I recall. I'm fine, and you? What about indoors? Talk with the old man. Old man Alrira. Alrira? Old man. Uh... How to say, please call outside. It seems that old man Alrira is a shy guy in person. Okay. Fair enough. Alright, we'll do more exploring later. Um, also, this comes from kind of a weird era of Nintendo. Or at least the original does. So you're going to see, like, Mario stuff <laughs> in a Zelda game. Which is uh, a little different, but that's fine. Let's just make sure we block those guys. We just gotta make our way to the beach. Oh, that was... Un okay, I guess keep holding shield. Please stay away. And there's the sword. Oh, there's an owl. The classic Zelda owl. Hoot hoot, so you are the lad that owns the sword. Now I understand why the monsters are starting to act so violently. A courageous lad has come to wake the windfish. It is said that you cannot leave the island unless you wake the windfish. You should now go north to the mysterious forest. I'll wait for you there. Goodbye, owl. Let's get the sword. Now we can actually do stuff. You can swing it with B. Yep. There we go. Which now means we can chop grass and cut it and you know, destroy enemies. Rude. There we go. You're gonna have to get used to, uh... Wow. <laughs> We're not doing so hot. Uh, you know, I have to get used to this style of Zelda game. I haven't played a non-3D Zelda game in a real long time. It's been a, it's been a little, it, it's been, oh, I don't know, about 20 years. <laughs> um, that's fine. Let's check out the beach house. What's in here? What's this all about? There's... Welcome to Sale's House of Bananas. This is totally a Donkey Kong reference, right? It's gotta be. I'm Sale, and this is my house. Actually, my hobby is collecting rare and unusual canned food. My brother's an artist... So I guess strange hobbies run in the family. Yeah, that's a little weird. Uh, well, I guess if we find any canned fruit, uh, canned food, we know where to bring it. Yeah. 
still managed to get hit. That's fine. We can chop all the grass and stuff now, so hearts should be fairly easy to come by. There we go. And rupees. We'll need the money. Oh, there, if I remember correctly, there are some pretty useful things in the shop. I think you can buy... Uh, I think the bow. And maybe something else? It's been a while. It, I also remember that uh, way back in the day, you could steal from the shop. <laughs> like, you could get away with it. I don't know if you can still do that, but... But we're, uh, we're honest. You know, I've, I, I, I'm a... Uh, I'm a mature adult. We don't steal from shops. <laughs> Maps and memories guide. Nah, I don't need, I don't need advice. I'm a master of this game. I, I've never played it, but I'm still a master. Yeah, there, okay, so whenever you exit a building, it seems like there's a little bit of a frame rate stutter, which is kind of annoying, if I'm being honest. But we'll get the heart piece here. It's, and the good news is the little frame rate stutter goes away. Oh, wrong button. Okay, let's check out our inventory and just see what this screen looks like. So you got system, map. We got the village and the shores uncovered. We've got one heart piece out of four. Uh, let's just pop into here. We do want to talk with just about everyone. My Bow Wow is so proud of his fine fur coat. Well, isn't that just great for your Bow Wow? Can I smash your pots? No. Dogs. I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest, my dog's cuter. I'm just you know, I'm just throwing it out there. We'll check out all the little houses here, just see if there's anything we've missed. I think I think this gives you a tip. Ask me anything about the island. If you get lost, give you a call. Yeah, so it's like if you get stuck, you can talk with uh, the dude and get some hints and stuff. Um, and we may actually have to go back to the library. Let's also check out the shop here. Or no, this is a mini game. This is not the shop. So you can get some stuff here, but you need uh, money to play it. Right now, we don't really have a whole lot of it. I think we've only got like one rupee. So we'll have to come back for that at a later time. You can cut the grass and see if... Oh, that's right. Shells are also a thing. I forgot. There's there's a lot of collectibles in this, if I remember correctly. This is the shop. Here we go. And there was a rupee that I just didn't pick up, but whatever. Let's just see what's in here. So the shovel, that's a key item. And then I think one of these becomes a bow, and then the other is arrows. Also, I can buy a shield. I think that's just... I don't remember if it's a replacement shield. I think it's a replacement shield, because there might be an enemy that causes you to lose your shield. If I'm... I mean, as I said, it's been like 20-some years, so... You know... Beautiful singing, Marin. Beautiful singing. All right, let's make our way up north towards the uh, fishing place. How about some fishing? I'll only charge you 10 rupees. You know, I'd love to, but I have... Uh, I, I don't have 10 rupees, my friend. As much as I would like to do that. Uh, you know what? We should also check the library. I know I'm not going to read all the books, but th I noticed that there was one book that looks a little bit different than all the others. This one over here. Dark Secrets and Mysteries. Do you want to read it? Yes. What's this? You can't read the tiny print without the aid of a magnifying lens. But where would you get one of those? Maybe if you lend some people a hand, they'll lend you a lens. Okay. The other ones I'm not super worried about. So I guess we'll just head up north and try to find the first dungeon. That seems like a good choice. There we go. Mysterious forest. Are we going to get a, a visit from the owl? Indeed. Hoot! Ho, brave lad, on your quest to wake the dreamer, welcome to the mysterious forest. Much of mystery you will find on this uncharted Kolahint island. I'm afraid you may find it a trifle difficult to leave the island while the windfish naps. 
By the by, have you ever visited the Tail Cave, which is south of the village? Go there with the key you find in this forest. The Windfish is watching. So we gotta get the key in the forest, and then the first dungeon, Tail Cave, is to the south of the village, it looks like. We got... Oh. That was just, uh... Yeah, it's fine. We can just chop our way through. This guy, if I remember correctly, you give him, like powder or something like magic powder and he turns into a person or something like that I don't know I think we got to go this way oh you're going to be lost thanks to me oh so he's gonna poof us around into random places until we find where we're going in the meantime okay we got holes in the ground Uh, I don't think we want to fall into those. There we go. Rude. This looks promising. Okay, we got a little mini dungeon looking thing here. Can I... Oh, I, th I think I see. I think I get it. We gotta go quick. And then, can we push? Yeah! Beautiful. Alright, so then we can... You can't push it anymore. But as long as you move quick on those, they shouldn't fall and break down to the next place. Okay, we got a puzzle. Um, so let's see. Probably... Down here, here, here. How do I get I need to get uh, you can't break the skulls, right? No. So I guess you just go. Hmm. Maybe we'll get an item or something that'll allow us to come back to that. I'll, I'll, I'll try to puzzle that out again in a minute. Oh, no. Now, is this a separate exit? I don't know. Pick up a toadstool as you hold it, a mellow aroma flows. Okay, so we got a toadstool. Whatever that's for. Okay, we knocked him into a hole. We can't cross that. Uh, we can't cross any of this, so I guess we just go back in over here. All right, so let's see. Oh, you know what? If you come at it from this side, maybe we can do some stuff that we wouldn't have otherwise been able to do. Do you like... Can't lift that. So I guess we got to come back here when we've got the uh, power bracelet or whatever. So that we can lift the skulls. Okay. Yay, get away. Stupid bats. I need that heart. Oh no, I fell. It's fine. We're okay. Thankfully, the crystals dropped hearts, so we're not dead. Okay, so I guess we gotta keep going this way. What's this? A piece of power. You can feel the energy flowing through you. Oh, it's like a... It's a temporary power-up. My dude has a sword. Okay. Cleared those guys pretty easily. He's an electric... -y. He's an electric one. Okay. So, not much we can do there. What's this? Is this going to give us the uh, the key? I thought the key we were looking for was in the forest. Let's talk with the... It's a witch. I have a sleepy toadstool. Oh, maybe she gives me magic powder, which I can then use on the raccoon.
Yay! Okay. Okay. I, I got it. We're making progress. So set this to, we'll say X. And then... Um, is this a fairy fountain? Oh, I can't lift that. I'm going to need the power bracelet for super strength. Okay, can't get over there either. Can't lift those rocks. So I guess at this point we work our way backwards and try to find the raccoon. There we go. What's over here? Ooh, hello. Great fairy. Heal me. So I guess in Link's Awakening, the fairy just heals you. They don't uh, give you a permanent upgrade like in... Uh, I think pretty much all Zelda games from like Ocarina of Time onwards. I can't remember. I, I want to say Link's Awakening came out before... Ocarina of Time, but I might be wrong on that. Like the original Link's Awakening. Obviously, this is Switch. This is fairly new. There's the raccoon. Alright, so now we use the magic powder on the raccoon. And he bounces around a bit. And becomes Terran. Hi, Terran. Uh. Last thing I can remember was biting into a big juicy toadstool. Then I had the weirdest dream I was a raccoon. That sounds strange. <laughs> that does sound a little strange. You know, if I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I don't know if I'd believe you. Let's get the boss key. The tail key. Now we can open the tail cave gate. And another visit from the owl, who's now going to probably tell us to go to tail cave. Take the key and go to the tail cave. See, I called it. Retrieve the instrument that is hidden there. Go now, the windfish is waiting. All right. So we're getting, we're, we're making some progress, I gotta say. Let's get rid of you. Uh, Can't chop the signs. These guys steal your shield, I think. Or your sword or something like that. I don't think we can really do anything in the swamp either. Can I swim? I can walk around. I just can't move very fast. What about these, like, flower thingies? Okay, don't touch those. Okay, good to know. Let's try to sneak past. I imagine we'll find, like, a heart container or something at some point. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Hey, okay. Maybe, you know what? Let's, let's not. Let's just forget about the swamp for now. We'll come back to the swamp later when we're stronger. I think that's a much better decision. <laughs> let's not uh, die. Thank you, hearts. Thankfully, it seems pretty easy to come across hearts, so we should be okay. Um... And now we just get out of here. Go back towards the village, which I think should be this way, if I remember correctly. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now we're back in the village. Is there anything up here we care about? No, that's fishing. How much money do we have? We have 81 rupees. Let's see how much the shovel costs. Because that's a pretty useful piece of equipment. 200 shovels, or 200 rupees. So we're going to need 200 rupees in order to get that. I can't remember if we have a wallet uh, in this, or if you can just hold 999 rupees right off the bat. I guess we'll find out once we get past 90, uh, 99. But we might need a wallet upgrade of some sort. I don't remember. Oh, no! I attacked, a, I attacked the fox. I didn't mean to, fox. I'm sorry. I promise it was an accident. Okay. 
We'll just, we'll just leave the fox alone. It's fine. Let's go see if we can find the, uh, the dungeon tail cave. It said it was south of the village. So I imagine it's kind of sort of near the beach where we found the sword. There we go. Uh, I guess we're going this way. Oh, that looks a lot like a cave. That would be Tail Cave. It's got to be, right? It's got to be Tail Cave. There we go. We have found the first dungeon. Great success. Let's do it. How hard could it be? It's just a dungeon. Uh, we don't have the map yet. Can knock these guys off into there. Get a key. I like keys. Pretty important for uh, dungeons and stuff. What do we got in here? Okay, easy enemies. There's a piece of cake. Got the compass. Okay. A tone will tell me if a key is nearby. That's useful. We might be able to clear this pretty quickly. We'll find out. I don't know how big the dungeon is. Okay, so that, that must be the there's a key, a, a key nearby in sound. There we go. Step on that. And then does this chest have the key in it, I'm assuming? Indeed. Okay. Uh, let's go right. Okay. Bats. Stay away, bats. Piece of power. Kind of, uh, you know, not a great time for us to get it, considering it's like the end of the room already, but... Alright, there we go. We got the dungeon map. So, let's see. If we look at that... So, we basically need to go... Okay. This should be fine. And we could just skip a lot of these enemies at this point. There we go. Little wormy dudes. Okay, those can't be hurt. You have to dodge them. We use a key up there. Okay, chest here. Can I open this? Okay, so enemies stop moving when you open chests. That's good to know. And we got just 20 rupees. Okay. That's nice. It's a good get for us. Get rid of the bats. And then just back this dude into a corner and destroy him. Uh, I'll use a a key right here. See what we can find. Okay. Ah, I get it. Just match the suits. It makes sense. A stone beak. Now to find an owl statue to fill it, fit it into. Well, there sure likes an, looks like an owl statue right there. Turn aside the spine ones with a shield. Okay, well, I think uh, we're good there. Do we get to keep the uh, the stone uh, rude? Do we get to keep the stone beak? Can we use it in additional owl statues? I imagine, maybe? Or is it a one-time use deal? Okay, so can't do anything there either. Like, there's a lot of gaps here. I think this must be the dungeon in which you get the rock feather, which, uh, essentially... Yeah, okay, that was... that was bad. It's fine. 
We're okay. We're not gonna die. We'll be fine. See? I was like, the game was gonna give us a heart. I knew it would happen eventually. Alright, can I use this? If there is a door you can't open, move a block. Okay. Well. That looks about right. Okay, these are the spined ones they're talking about. Got it. I got it figured out. Okay, and we got a way down. So down we go. And now we get some, like... <laughs> some pl Zelda platforming action. <laughs> with Goombas. <laughs> what a weird era of Nintendo this was. Okay. Flying heart things. Okay. Okay too slow. Oh, no. We made it. We're okay. I think we gotta bait the charge out from those dudes. Well, there we go. Uh, so now we got the rock feather. We're gonna do this. Which means we can now jump. Like a so. Which will also allow us to jump over gaps. So that's the hard part. Or that's the, uh... That's a good chunk of the dungeon taken care of. We've got the compass, we've got the key item, and we have all the uh, other stuff too. Is there, yeah, nothing over there. Okay. So now we can start jumping over gaps. And if I remember correctly, there was a gap. Let's get rid of these dudes. Uh, get rid of you. Die bat. Is this a... That is not a key door. Okay. But there was a gap over here. See what's in here. Ah, mini boss. Okay. So that's a good sign. Please stop jumping into me. He jumps... But he's dead. We've done it. And we get a fairy, which should restore our HP. There we go. Pop into here. Careful. And that is the boss. Okay. So we have found the way to the boss. I imagine this teleport takes us back to the beginning of the dungeon? Am I right? Yes. Okay. And then you can use it again as a shortcut to this room. So, if you die against the boss, for example, oh, that was just terrible damage. If you die against the boss, you have a, a shortcut. Uh, we do have a key. I'm just gonna mostly ignore that skeleton, honestly. Okay, fine. Use our key here. This should lead to the boss. Indeed it did. Grab you. And then I think we just go fight the boss and we'll have the first dungeon in the books. Uh, not really loving the idea of going in there with less than full HP, but that's fine. We'll probably be okay. I hope. Or maybe we can scrounge up a little bit of HP in this room. Don't get hit by that. Like, what's down here? Okay. I got a little... Aha! HP! Take that. Alright. Let's go fight the boss. Made it. Buzz Buzz Outsider. Moldorm. Okay, I think this is the worm dude where you gotta smack his tail. Yeah. And then just give it a minute. For him to, like, be able to be hit again. We're just kind of gonna chill up here. We're 
Hopefully he can't get us, and we want to make sure that he doesn't knock us off the edge like that. Okay, well, he, he knocked us off the edge. Okay, it's fine. He's not a super hard boss. Just uh, don't let him back you in the corner. That was the worst damage of my life. Okay. <laughs> It's fine. Wow, we're actually almost dead. Okay. Just chill up here for a minute. Oh, I'm dead. Okay. <laughs> well, first death, it's fine. Start at the beginning of the dungeon. We could do this. He's not even that hard. You gotta start the fight over, though, when you die, which, uh, you know, complicates things a little bit. Or when you get knocked down, I should say, not when you die. He just do full heart of damage with that? It sure seemed like it. Okay. Let's try and keep him at bay with the shield. Oh, yeah, he does a full heart of damage when he hits you. So don't let him hit you. Got him. There we go. We've done it. It was a little more difficult than it should have been. But it's okay. We just gotta shake off the rust. We get our first heart container. So we now have four HP instead of three. And we get our first instrument. I forget how many instruments there are, but we have to collect all of them in order to uh, complete the game. So there's the first one taken care of, the full moon cello. And it plays for us a beautiful medley, uh, melody. There we go. Swamp. So the next dungeon is probably in the swamp, I'm going to guess. A path opens in the blooms. Alrighty. There we go. And I think that is a great place to leave it off for the first episode. Guys, I hope you are as excited for this series as I am. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.